So when I first met my ex, he met me in my soft girl era. I was on social media all the time, eating it up. This is how you live a soft life. This is how you find a rich husband. This is how you become a stay-at-home girlfriend. Blah, 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 blah. I was eating it up. So when I met him, he was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's do that dynamic. You become the stay-at-home girlfriend after like three months of dating. But I digress. So we try to do it. And I started making videos like this. So for lack of better words, we both changed careers. One that would appease the other person and make life way easier for me. So I didn't have to work that much. So we both cut that 50-50 mindset and now we're both living our best life. He's out of the house 90% of the time and I am at home creating my content and doing my job that I actually like to do. Now, ick, just ick. And let's ignore the terrible nose contour. So kids, what can we learn from that last video? Don't change for anybody. Now, did he make a better career move because of me? Technically, yes. Was I happy? I thought I was. Do you wanna know why I delusionally thought I was happy? Dead ass? I was coming at that relationship from a lacking mindset. I didn't know what I actually wanted to do. All I knew is that I didn't like the job I had and I was looking at someone else to save me. Let me get this straight before we go on any further. Somebody actually met you where you are, provided you the lifestyle that you always wanted. To stay at home, pursue your dreams as a content creator. While he goes out and he brings home the bacon, you still had a problem with it? You still found a way to complain about it or a way to be dissatisfied with that setup, with that situation? Some of y'all can never be satisfied. This is also another thing I hear from women a lot. They say the reason why the relationship didn't work out is because they needed to find themselves. They weren't, they didn't know their self-worth. They had daddy issues or something like that. It seems like this is almost every woman's story that has a perfect situation with a man and they mess it up and they leave it. They leave that situation. So it's either the guy is no good and he got issues and he doing this and it's him, him, him. She's not fully healed. She doesn't know her self-worth. She didn't have a good relationship with her dad. She didn't X, Y, Z. She needed to spend more time with herself and get to know herself better. All that bull crap. Women in the 50s and 60s who were getting married at age 19, 20, and 21 didn't find themselves before having four and five and six and seven, eight, nine kids. You figure that stuff as you go along, bro. I was looking for my white knight, my trump card. And I was looking for that in another person. Anybody could come in and love me at like 20% as long as it meant that you could take care of me. I was okay with that. No, we're not okay with that. <laughs> we have self-respect now. We have boundaries. We can make our own life happen. And this isn't some feminist crap shit show where I'm saying like, I'm a woman now in 2023, I can do what I want. Yes, I can. But I came to that relationship not knowing who I was, not knowing what I wanted. I thought I did. It's almost like you can't win. When a dude actually takes initiative to change and become a better person for the woman, it don't make her happy for various reasons and she needs to leave and, and, and get to know herself better. But when a dude is absent and he's out there handling business and things like that and, and, and trying to become successful or maintain his success or upgrade his success, she says he don't spend enough time with me. He's not emotionally available. He's not emotionally intelligent. He doesn't compromise. Compromising requires a level of change. So whether you change for her to become a better man, it ain't good enough. Or you spend a lot of time outside the relationship trying to build the lifestyle that she wants, it's still not good enough because you're not spending enough time with her. What's the solution? What should a man do then? So he was going into that relationship and he was acting according to, he was trying to change to make me happy. I wasn't really changing much to make him happy at all. I was not living in my truth, so I what in turn became inevitably unhappy. Well, how would you know if you're not living in your truth if you don't know what you want? That's exactly why I was living in my truth. I should have stayed alone until I figured out what I wanted. And him, I cannot say really anything bad about him. He just didn't know what he wanted out of life either. So when he came along and came into my world and I was the sprinkle, sprinkle, soft girl era girly, he was like, mm, guess it's cool. Guess I'll try it out. I don't really know if I want this. So fast forward to November, I break up with him. We're done. It was the worst breakup in my entire life. And I was convinced that he was the right person, wrong time. Right person, wrong time. Okay. And let me tell you something. Now that we are in June of 2023 and it's been seven, eight months since we broke up, I will tell you this. That man was not right person, wrong time. That man was the right man at that time in my life because I needed to experience that, right? I'm all about experience. I love, I love trying anything once. I needed to experience what that was like so I could either make up my mind whether I wanted that or whether I didn't want that. And since I was experiencing that, it brought me to the conclusion that I don't want that. I don't want that lifestyle. I really was hell bent on being a stay at home girlfriend. And I realized I don't like it because I feel like I lack purpose. My mother has always told me growing up, she was like, you act like a man, you act like a man, you have the mind of a man. Sorry, but I cannot help this, I don't know why, but my purpose for me comes from my work. And I am no longer in the work that I was in when I first met him. Um, I did go back for a little bit because I, I needed to find what made me happy. I needed to find what I wanted to do. I needed to find what actually truly made me happy. 
So I went back for a few months and realized I don't like this. But instead of sitting there and sobbing myself to sleep and instead of, instead of sitting there and feeling sorry for myself that, oh my God, I'm stuck in my situation. I can't get out. I don't know what to do. No one is ever going to take a Schmex worker seriously. Okay. So she just said she's a smash worker. That changes everything about this whole situation. I did not even know that. I got the fuck up. I pulled myself up by the bootstraps and I started trying out new shit career wise. And I finally found this. And I know a lot of people say, oh my God, like influencing isn't a real job, but I'm sorry. I have had an umpteenth amount of people in my DMs telling me how shockingly I've changed their life and I've changed their mindset for the better. Because it is not, I don't believe in sprinkle sprinkle and I don't believe in the, the, um, bro podcast you know who the women say men aren't shit and the men say women aren't shit no i'm the person in the middle who is here to tell you that if you actually sit down take your ass out of a relationship and off of social media and figure out what you want you are going to have to go out there and test the waters and see what you actually like so stay in the dating pool you know don't give up on dating forever i was so hell-bent i was so heartbroken on that relationship like it was the hardest relationship that i ever had to leave and i tell you it is the best thing that has ever happened to me in my entire life that relationship was what made me move. That heartbreak was what made me move and get off my ass and really start to figure out my life. So do I regret that relationship? Absolutely fucking -lutely not. I am so grateful that that relationship showed me what I didn't want. And that doesn't make him a bad person. That doesn't make me a bad person. But that life lesson that I got from that partner was meant for me. I was supposed to go through that in horrible breakup in order for me to find myself. It took about 10 years of dating to finally figure out what I wanted and my purpose in life, but I'm here and I'm grateful for every bad experience I ever had. So it took you 10 years of dating and you didn't learn any wisdom in those 10 years for you to date this next guy who was a perfect guy and he still wasn't perfect enough for you. I know I say this all the time. I'm not a passport bro, but I see why dudes are, are passport bros. I, I, it, makes, it makes so much sense now. You literally had a perfect person most women never even say anything like that. They just never satisfied. You had a perfect person and you still wasn't satisfied. Every good person I ever met dating. And so don't be afraid of dating. Heartbreak is inevitable. It will happen time and time again. Life is all about suffering. It's all about choosing how you want to suffer though. Peace. Her last ideology was she said, life is all about suffering. It's just all about how you choose, how you're gonna suffer. I totally disagree with that because Jesus said that the devil comes to steal, kill and destroy, which sounds like suffering. It sounds like suffering. And Jesus said, I have come to give you life and life more abundantly. Well, to me, it seems like life is about what side you choose. Are you going to choose suffering or are you going to choose abundant life? But that choice is up to you, 100%. I choose life and life more abundantly, bro. She said that she is sprinkle sprinkle and she also wants her own financial freedom. And she allows her man to spoil her, but also make money too. She said you can still be sprinkle sprinkle, but be fully provided for and have your career in business. Lady at the bottom says she loves her perspective. She's not a 50-50, but she has worked hard for her career, for herself, and she wants a guy to match her financially. Have a nice day, guys. Have a wonderful day.